reduction in new inf HIV infection by 2030. Now on to matters farming. Successful farm production starts with quality soil. Soil is one of the farmer's most important and valuable tools. It provides a reservoir of water and nutrients that is required by crops. Each type of soil has a variety of properties that cannot be changed, such as texture. However, soil quality can be improved by following exceptional farm management practices, such as soil testing. Soil testing being our next conversation in the studio. I have with us Amos Muicho, Crop Nutrition Laboratory Services ag uh, Agronomist. For now, uh, let's see uh, what Philip Ketani had to say by setting the pace for telling us how farmers can reap big by testing their soils. The low soil production in Kenya has been partly attributed to declining soil fertility due to soil acidity. Soil testing is a practice often ignored by many farmers, yet its importance cannot be overstated. A soil test uh, means uh, getting the content or the concentration of various elements in the soil. And these are the elements that have significance uh, when it comes to plant nutrition or the nutrients that the crops require for maximum yield. According to Amos Mutio, a nutrition agronomist with CropNut Laboratories, precision farming begins with an accurate assessment of soil fertility. This is achieved through precise soil sampling, testing using either grid or zigzag soil sampling methods. We normally determine their concentration and then we are able to give farmers recommendations on fertilizers. According to Mutio, soil testing is an essential part of profitable farm management which will save a farmer money and help them increase their yields by up to three times. The main uh, advantages or the significance of uh, doing soil tests is that a farmer is able to use, to grow more with less inputs. The current common practice is that most farmers simply apply fertilizer based on what they think their soil needs without carrying out an actual analysis of their soil. If a farmer goes into fertilizer application without doing soil tests, they end up applying excess. Um, if, for example, we have more than enough uh, nitrogen in the soil, you don't need to add any. A soil test will ensure that a farmer uses the correct fertilizer and in their right quantities for the specific crops and soil, which earn muturi, a farmer who has been testing our soil at the beginning of every season can attest to. We are trying to get uh, to work with information because you see all these other things you keep trying, they cost Okay, they cost, they, cost, uh, they cost money and sometimes they are not uh, fruitful. According to Anne, continued soil testing has allowed her to correct the health of her soil and that crops grown in healthy tested soils are more resistant to pests and diseases. One of this, what surprised me was that they were telling us your soil already has a lot of nutrients, there is no need to add extra. Anne also tells me a healthy, balanced soil is also the basis for high-yielding crops, which will in turn earn the farmer more money. Uh, like the crop we had here, we tested uh, sometime after, just before, just after uh, ha starting to harvest, and um, and um, they told us, okay, it's low on phosphorus, so add something with phosphorus which we did it is also important to note that because of soil testing a farmer's risk of crop failure is greatly reduced if a farmer's risk portfolio is low it helps the farmer easily get credit from financial institutions and crop insurers are happy to cover the farmer for every farmer who would like to improve his crop production and at the same time cut costs at the farm soil testing is mandatory and need to be done at least once a year. Philip Kitang for the next frontier. As uh, pointed out earlier, of course, we have Amos Mutio with us in studio talking uh, soil testing because it seems to be the next revolution that farmers need to pay attention to in order to maximize their yields, their gains, and of course, make more from uh, the farming economy. Now, thank you so much, Amos, for joining us. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. And uh, what is soil testing first? Can you just give us a lowdown on what it is? 
Thank you for having me. Uh, soil testing is simply measuring the concentration of various elements that are in soil. I'll mention a, a few because the farmers know them out there. Uh, like nitrogen, it's a nutrient. Calcium is a nutrient, ETC. So soil testing is measuring the concentration of various elements in soil. These are the elements that are paramount or they are important for production or achieving maximum yield. And let me also put this other aspect whereby you can test the presence or absence of diseases as well other than nutrition. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, so the importance to farmers then is that they are able to see what kind of levels of nutrients can most benefit their crops? You're right. Mm -hmm. So basically, yes, you're right. Uh, the, the farmers are able to know the concentration of various elements and uh, they are able to be guided by testing laboratories that uh, you have this amount and you need to raise to this level. This is uh, too much, you don't need to add. So basically, the farmers are able to buy fertilizers or inputs that they actually need. You realize that sometimes we've uh, put so much fertilizer in our farms, season in, season out, mm -hmm. year in, year out. And in the long run, we have so much of a certain parameter or a certain element that you actually do not need to add in, in, in your next cropping season. So farmers are able to buy fertilizers that they only need. They're, they're able to identify the fertilizer that they need. They're able also to identify the quantities the amount that they need. So uh, by, by doing this, farmers are able to buy only what they need, only what the crops require, and avoid excessive wastage when it comes to purchasing fertilizer that they may not need. And the other thing is that um, the testing laboratories are able to give uh, more of a, a program that you need to apply this before planting, for example, compost or manure, and lime, which they used, the farmers used to, to correct their soil. And, and by so doing, we, the, the labs are able to give a schedule, like a program. You need to, to apply this at planting. You need to apply this a month or so before planting. You need to apply this when the crop is two months old, and so on and so forth. So it helps farmers in planning. So in order to facilitate this, uh, for the farmers to take advantage of this knowledge, do you think that there needs to be greater education involved with uh, this process? You are right. It's, it's always good to keep sensitizing farmers out there and sharing information that uh, soil testing is key. It is no longer a luxury. It is actually a necessity in production because uh, it helps farmers to work with information. So it's, um, I would uh, call upon the media houses, those who, are in, those who are in social media, to continue spreading the word that soil testing is key for profitable farming and farmers should embrace it out there. So sensitization is important, of course. And uh, how does this soil testing increase yields for the farmer? Basically, we realize that um, when farmers uh, do the farming without information, they do not have a starting point. They do not know what they actually need to apply uh, at planting, uh, during what, they, what is called uh, top dressing, and so on and so forth. That is a fertilizer application at various stages of the crop. So um, uh, basically, when, uh, when, when farmers uh, do the test, they are able to know their starting points, and they are able to know what they actually need they'll minimize wastage. And you'll realize that, uh, let me put this point, a crop requires a specific, uh, certain volume of nutrient A to perform, to, for maximum yield. Mm -hmm. There's that reservoir of nutrition that's supposed to, to be in the soil. And I can use an analogy of a fridge. If you buy uh, food for a whole week and you put it in your fridge, and you are, your work is just to get from the fridge and you're not refilling, at some point you deplete uh, your, your food in the fridge. So same case to farmers, when you, when you just do the farming without uh, applying what the crops require, in the long run you'll get into losses because uh, you've bought very expensive seeds, you've uh, used uh, a lot of water to do irrigation, you've used labor, some people are weeding or, or you're using machines to weed. By so doing you're incurring costs mm. and uh, if you do soil test first and you know your starting point, you're very sure that you're working with information and you, you are, all factors are constant, you achieve optimum yield.
Okay. Now, um, you say that soil testing is so important in the general scheme of things, saving costs, of course, as well. But uh, when they go to the laboratory uh, in order to get their soil tested, how much of a cost would that uh, be additional for them? Um, as an agronomist, I, I always recommend for a comprehensive analysis of your, of your soil. Uh, starting with the nutrition, uh, it is always important to to test the macro and the micronutrients. Macronutrients are nutrients that are required in large quantities by crops. And there are those macro, micronutrients, or the nutrients that are required by plants in small quantities, but very crucial to crops. Therefore, when farmers are analyze all these, which is uh, at a range of about 5,000 shillings, someone is able to get uh, good results. And then uh, the farmers are also able to get fertilizer recommendations. As I said, I work for crop nutrition, and crop nuts uh, gives comprehensive fertilizer recommendations. And the other thing is that um, when farmers do what is called pathology or testing for diseases, mm. the farmers are able to to get a, result, uh, uh, a report that shows that the crop is either, the, 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 sorry, the soil mm. or the farm, either as a disease causing microorganism or it doesn't have. And if it has, we, uh, the lab can give a score in the scale of one to five. If you are at five, you know that you, are, you have uh, severe levels of uh, certain disease causing microorganism. So, so it's sorry? not only good for the farmer, but also for the consumer. It, um, not really, because uh, the, the disease causing microorganisms um, do not cause diseases to human beings. Okay. They, they, they cause uh, diseases to the crops, to crops okay. and, which cannot be transferred to human beings. Mm. And let me point out that uh, for those who are doing horticultural crops, mm. for example, tomatoes, capsicum, and so on and so forth, um, it is important to do this because there's a disease out there which farmers know called bacterial wilt. Mm. Bacterial wilt is uh, caused by a bacteria. And um, this disease has no cure. Once it infects your crops, you, yes. in the long run, you just need to approach them and dispose them because you, whichever chemical cannot work on that. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much, Amos, for shedding more light on soil testing and uh, its different you know, uh, benefits for farmers, for consumers, for crops as well. Thank you very much. Now, with that, uh, hoping that you have gained some insight into soil testing and into improving the yields that farmers can possibly manage to gain from their land and uh, bring forth into the economy. Now, that also brings us to the end of today's Business Today edition. It's a Monday. I hope